why would why would Disney not lead off with this? Why? Disney, why? Like Disney's really watching this video, but this should have been the first trailer. This should have been the first piece of advertising for this new movie. Not not the not the trailer, not anything we've gotten before. This should have been what we got to, to you know from the very beginning, from the very start. This got me so hyped. Like this this has me so hyped for for the movie. I'm going to see it Thursday. I can't freaking wait. Holy crap. Holy crap. Like I have no words really. I don't know what I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That was incredible. So and really that's very spoilery, which I already I already knew. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I I've read the leaks, so I know I know what this movie's gonna be, you know. And I I'm skeptical, but I'm optimistic. You know, I'm hopeful. I still have hope for this movie. But that was a major spoiler. But it is something that a lot of people have suspected for for a long time that you know Emperor Palpatine was really uh, pulling the strings the entire time. You know, even though I think they just pulled this out of their their behinds for you know for this movie. You know, when the Last Jedi went the way it went. You know, I think they had hoped that Kylo Ren was going to be was going to go over well enough that he could be the main bad or the big bad, whatever. But he didn't, so they needed to go knock on the door of Papa Palpatine, Ian McDermott. <sighs> but yeah, guys, I'm, 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 I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. You know, I have to, I have to believe that it can't be worse than the Last Jedi. I have to believe that. I love the Force Awakens. You know, I recently rewatched The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi back to back. And The Force Awakens, man, it still fills my heart with joy every time I watch it. Every time I watch it. The Chewy the Chewy were home scene still brought the cheesiest grin to my face, man. Like I love that movie. That is a love letter to Star Wars. That's what The Force Awakens was. And then it just went off the rails in The Last Jedi. Thank you, Ryan Johnson. But anyways, uh, this, this, this looks like it, it will be a decent movie. At the very least, at the very least, it looks like it'll be decent. And it'll be a, a satisfying end to the Skywalker saga. Hopefully we're right. Hopefully I'm right. Um... I just want to walk out not hating this movie. Like, if I walk out just thinking that it's okay, that's fine. But I just don't want to walk out the way I walked out of The Last Jedi. Just completely, like, dumbfounded, dumbfounded and confused, not knowing what to think, having to rewatch the movie again to, like, formulate a, an opinion because I just did not know where I stood with the film or where the film stood with me. But yeah, guys, that's all I got. I'm looking forward to it. I really, really am. We got this, plus we got The Witcher, I think, coming out uh, next next Friday. It's going to be a busy weekend in terms of like like watching a movie and then watching The Witcher. And then I'm probably going to want to go see, um, see Star Wars again, hopefully. If I like it, I probably will go see it again. Not on opening weekend, though. Screw that. I'm not fighting that crowd. I'm all, I'm already going to fight them next next uh, Thursday. <laughs> That's enough for me. But but yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And I would love to see you next time. Y'all have a good one.